Also, I've heard, I've heard of Zizzer and haven't watched any of their stuff, but they have over 400k Twitch followers. Really? Damn. That's nutty. What you're saying is I might become a celebrity overnight? Dash quickly around. Pull out of danger. Oh! So I can lock on. Ah. Open inventory with that button. Select the slot you want to modify with A and equip it. What did I get? Throwing rock? Oh. It's like a two handed weapon? How do I tell? It's definitely not. How much damage does it do? 87 plus 1. This is less? I think that's like a parry. Okay. Wait. Nice. Nice. <laughs> I have one of those already, but okay. <laughs> Alright. I'm curious as to why my thing starts going crazy right here. Lamp. indicate points of interest in umbral look your umbral lamp and raise it with a T to peer into umbral yes uh yes fail All attacks can be combined to create unique combos, including both melee and ranged attacks. Additionally, melee attacks can be switched dynamically with Y to access a wider variety of attacks.
Oh, I can two hand. What? I want like an actual two handed weapon. Sanguinarix is your primary healing tool and recharges automatically upon reviving. What is this? Heal over time. And that's probably for mana. Don't know what this is. Scared to use it. Don't know what that is. Scared to use it. Very good. Okay. Wait a second. Oh, I got a transition. There it is, dude. Woo. Put your umbrella lamp with him, raise it with LT, and soul play the locked on target with RT. Ah, right, that's what that is. Right, right. Log on to an enemy with RS, select your umbrella lamp with down, raise it with LT, and then press RT to soul flay. Okay, got that. Oh, we can expose an enemy? Okay. That is awesome, <laughs> actually. It's gonna take some time getting used to that, but. Soul flying an enemy soul consumes a soul flay. Oh. And so if enemies with blisters, recover. sense okay Cool, so they added a Bloodborne type of effect, or uh, mechanic to the game too. You use your Umbra Lamp stuff, uh, abilities, that reduces your health, but like, you can get it back by hitting people. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Looks like I've only got one, so... 
Let's not do any more blister farming. to do a falling attack. <laughs> what's that? What's that? Uh, bar below my stamina. Is that my experience or something? Or no? No, no, experience is top right. Oh, really? Oh, they're hunting me, I think. What's going on? Was I being hunted? Oh, I miss him. Uh, how's Skylar doing, by the way, Brown? Do you recover fully? It's just telling me about emerging. Got it. Okay, we're back here. Very good. Abandoned red coats. Plays where previous lamp bearers fell. Once activated, these serve as points of revival should you die in Umbral. Activated vestiges can be warped between and used to beckon other lamp bearers. Oh! Okay. Let's upgrade. Um, how much does it cost? Oh, it takes like all of it pretty much. This brings up... what does it bring up? Stamina and weight and 
Physical defense, fire defense, holy, and wither defense. And bleed and burn resistance. I kind of, for this playthrough, I kind of want to do like a, <clears throat> like a, a counterpart to my Arcanite build. Um, but I, I watched the video that they posted showing off like what you can do. And it was an official video by the devs. Uh, and it looked like you could do Umbral magic. And I, I want to do like an Umbra Knight, like equivalent to Arcanite because I feel like it's sort of kind of the same I just don't know how so for now we'll go we get some more health maybe Boom. Uh, let's also rest all right Cactus's journal, map of Mornstead. Is there a map I can look at? A weather journal, a number of its pages missing. This journal be uh, belonged to Ta Tacitus? A fearless explorer and cartographer who had traveled across the Oathlands and far beyond, eventually venturing into Mornstead only to seemingly never emerge from the kingdom. Can't use it or anything, okay. Relic used to upgrade the Sanguinarix. Okay, I did a parry before. Oh god. Holy bulwark auto. And he bleeds. Stop trying to hit me and hit me! Oh, okay. that oh he, he boofed himself fail <clears throat> oh. oh okay 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 uh let's switch back to Full heals. Dude, excuse me. Try and grab me. Oh god. Oh, 
Oh god, oh god. Got him, dude. Woo! Excuse, excuse me? What is this? Bro. What? Give me that lamp. No. There's no way, dude. Do I gotta fight him? Oh, God. Want him? Come and claim him. Sorry. Oh, oh, jeez, Louise. Bruh. Am I supposed? Am I? Su I'm not supposed to be in my. Look at how much damage I- there's no way. Yeah, okay. Makes sense. Hello? What just... Wait, do I have to fight him? Vigor recovery after death. Oh, it's called Vigor. Kind of feel like I I missed a, a little bit of a cutscene. Because there's nothing here all of a sudden. Wait. Oh, okay. There was a guy approaching, and then he just wasn't anymore. I feel like I might have missed a part of a cutscene or something. Sag. Where does this lead? Maybe that's where I'm supposed to go. Umbral parasites can symbiotically merge with other creatures, protecting them or granting enhanced power. Select your umbral lamp with, down, and find a parasite LT. Siphon parasites to destroy them. RB. Let me deal with this, bro. Wait a second. Oh, I pressed the wrong button and I healed when I didn't need to.
Uh, sorry, I was waiting for a little bit. Did I miss anything? Yeah, I fought a boss, and I got a little bit of a cutscene, and I kind of feel like I might have missed uh, a part of the cutscene because it, it looked like it showed a person approaching the guy I was fighting, the boss guy. Then he just disappeared. Or the, sorry, the, the cutscene ended, and I don't see him anywhere. So...